Look at that. Perfect. All right, guys, today, Man Caper Tools, let's go over the Works Compact Drill Driver. Let's unbox this, look at the specs, test this out, and see how this actually is. This is my first Works tool on the channel, so let's see how this is. First, you get instructions and warranty. Don't need those. All right, so I did cheat. I charged the battery up already. And I am gonna say this, with the charge that you get from this, this took like about five hours to charge. And this is a two amp hour battery. All right, so you do get a couple of other bits in this. All right, so here is the tool. There is a lock switch, so you can rotate that. And you can continuously rotate it in any direction. If that's all that is for, that's a bit, eh, I'm not gonna judge. Oh, it does come with a regular drill bit. All right, so if you guys are new, just to let you know, this is not what we do on the channel. We, on this channel, we are gonna test the crap out of this motor and see what this could actually do. So these bits that it comes with, garbage. Let's test the crap out of this. And the works of the two amp hour battery weighs two pounds and 13.7 ounces. So let's start off small first. And let's just see how well it does with a one inch and two inch screw. It can do a one inch, let's try a two inch. It can do a two inch. All right, let's uh, try something. Let's try something a little, little bit harder. Like I said, it took like a few hours to charge that battery, like four hours. I'm, I'm not kidding either. It took like four to five hours to charge this two amp hour battery. We have a Hilti nut setter bit on there. We have a six inch Spax. Let's see on how well this does with a Spax. If I break the tool, you guys, I break the tool. It cannot do it on speed two. Let's switch over to speed one. Let's see if it can finish it. Wow. That's actually not bad. I'm surprised that it did that. Oh, let's, take, let's see if we can take it out. Yes, it can. All right, so the fact that it actually could accomplish that, let's try something harder. All right, so let's do an eight inch timber lock. All right, it's flashing out. Let's continue. It's on speed one. Let's see if we can take it out. We're gonna do this until it's out. A guy, I'm not gonna lie, I already smell this motor burning. Time. Now remember, this is an 80, this is an $80 tool. It is not a cheap tool. When they're already like uh, 12 volt tools that are far more powerful than this, and they're not that much more expensive. Another battery for this works, it's like, $80 more. So because I smell burning, I want to see this tool fry. And we barely did anything with this tool so far. Like it's a brand new tool. Huh, that might be stuck in there. If it survives this one, we'll continue on with the video.
time. Did it. Right, let's take it out. Time. Yeah, that motor's not smelling too good. Just to show you guys, 12 volt tool. Bam, no problem. Engine does not, the engine, the motor does not smell burning whatsoever. Other 12 volt brushless tools will do the same thing. I'm only pointing this out because I actually smell burning from this motor. We're gonna do a one and three sixth hole. Quarter and six call it. Speed one. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. Nope, speed one is required. Time. Do another one. I remember we're using a two amp hour battery and it's on drill. Right, let's do something a little bit more extreme. Let's try a seven eighths. Not bad though, I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad. Right, let's do another hole. And guys, just to let you know, I've tested out a lot of 2 amp hour batteries and they've all done far more stuff than what this is doing. And if the tool is getting weaker because the battery is getting weaker, then that's not a good battery. Time. All right, since, just to let you guys know, this is useless. This is actually a useless feature to be able to do that. That's just so you don't have to do this, which you're gonna end up changing them out anyways if you're drilling a hole then using a screw. This, this feature is not necessary. But it's what they wanted to do, it's what they wanted to try to promote, like, oh, you just have to do a, uh, switch like that then there you go but let's do another hole yeah that's through it, if that didn't do the other hole it's through I just want to see for you guys if this fries out. I'm that's what I'm testing out to see if you do. A, like, so far, we did a, we only did a couple of things so far, and if this if this motor fries out in this video, then it's it's a bad tool. No smoke out of it yet. Just out of curiosity, let's see if we can do a uh, inch and a quarter speed bore. Just curious, it probably won't. It'd probably go a couple of centimeters and then stop. Yep, it cannot do that. All right, so let's do a 15, 15 by 16 spade bit. These are Bosch spade bits, by the way. Time, it did it. 
Let's see if it can do an inch and a half. I'm not expecting it to, but just out of curiosity and just show inch and a half. Not sure if you guys can see that. Inch and a half. Nope, it cannot. I got a one and three eighths. Nope, it cannot. We're going to continue with the 15th by 16th. Yeah, it's through. The collet released the bit. Let's continue with the 13 by 13 sixteenths. All right, let's see what the temperature is on this. 116, 115, 128. 117, 124, 124 degrees. All right, I'm just gonna flat out say, I've gotten tools far hotter than this and they still perfectly operate. So like this, this could do, this, this should be able to do more. For, eight, for including taxes, $80, it should be able to do more. Hey, yeah, one thing I will say, the battery, not bad. The battery's still going. Time. Hey, guys. It can do it. Just the battery's getting weak. It did a lot of holes. It did. Time. Alrighty. Let's go back to the bench. 143 degrees. 143. Alrighty, guys. So I'm surprised that it didn't fry out. Now, it is hot. It does smell a little burnt, but it, it just keeps on going. Based on the test that I did, if you just plan on like hanging something or or screw a little hole to drive in a screw. This will actually be good for you for a while. So yeah, it's actually a pretty decent tool and I hate brush tools. I can't stand brush tools. And the reason why I can't stand brush tools is because you can get uh, brushless stuff for a couple of dollars more. I'll put in a kit for this DeWalt right now. It's like $20 more, you could actually have a darn good drill that'll last you for a while if you're a DIY or slash homeowner and you just want to do a few extra things now when it comes to works would I recommend to do major projects with works no I wouldn't so but if you need a tool that is specifically to like for very minor stuff this would actually last you for a while yes it did take uh, hours to charge up this battery but they actually do have a regular charger i'll put the put that up right now and they also have bigger batteries so in the future i am going to get higher amp hour batteries and we're going to see what else this thing can do and if it dies it dies but first impressions it survived that's and that actually is a big deal that's not an opinion that's a fact it survived my test which i honestly didn't want it to but it did so that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.